Okay, um, this is the final paint that I'm going to demonstrate how to make. Um, it's one using um, a mixture of ultramarine blue, fabulous colour there, and um, Indian Throne blue, which is a much more sort of blacky, smoky blue. Um, the ultramarine blue, as many of you may well know, is incredibly bright and very matte um, by nature. And the Indian Throne blue is another synthetic organic pigment it's a bit more greasy, um, but it's kind of blacky, smoky, um, behaves in a very different way. So I'm mixing the two together um, to then see how they separate and move differently on the painting. Um, again, I'm going to use the watery soluble medium, which is the kind of acrylic based one, um, but I could use the, the gillets as well. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm going to do a mixture 50 50. Okay. and um, mix up the ultramarine blue first. Okay. Okay. And then I've only got a small amount of this left, so um, difficult to get out of the bag. It's also quite a light and fluffy one, so I should really be wearing a mask for this one, but if I was wearing a mask, you wouldn't be able to hear a word that I was saying. So here we go. Look at that beautiful colour. Um, it's a little heavy on the Indian Throne Blue. So I might add a touch more of that in. I don't know. It's a little guesstimation, really, anyway. Okay. Let's put the two of those together. Fantastic. Lovely. Right. Okay. I'm going to mix these together. Maybe put a little bit more of the medium in. Okay, and now time for a paint out. I'm going to try it on um, a dry piece, of, uh, a rough piece of paper, and a smooth piece of paper, and see the difference in how it moves. Um, already pre-wet rough piece of paper here. Um, pre-wetted with water. Oops, there we go. And I'll put an area just here, much more concentrated. So hopefully when it's dry you'll see the rising of the ultramarine blue. Put that to one side. And then I'm going to try it with a smooth piece of paper. prefers working on a smooth piece of paper. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put a blob there because that hopefully will show the, the matte um, ultramarine blue um, rising to the surface when it dries. So on this one, um, actually the, the Indian Throne is a little bit more apparent on the rough piece of paper. Um, so you've got here, you've got the clusters of the Indian Throne um, catching on the rough surface of the paper. Um, here and here as well. And then um, elements of the Indian Throne sort of bleeding through in a stain-like quality. 
and then um, the ultramarine blue in clouds um, and the dustiness and the matte quality of the ultramarine sort of rising to the surface. Okay, so here's the dried paint out of the ultramarine and Indian throne um, on the smooth paper. Um, and although not illustrating perfectly how I wanted it to, it's quite a beautiful paint out really. I love this area here where you've got the water creeping through into pigment, so you've got the kind of almost like veins here. And in the blobby bit here that I put on afterwards, you've got um, almost like a ring of Indian throne surrounding the ultramarine blue, but like an eclipse. And then you've got this lovely uh, smoky, stainy quality of the bleed through, almost like a river. Um, and then just on the edge of the darker, more on that area, you've got sort of just apparent bits of the blacky blue of the Indian throne, little specks of white and um, ultramarine blue together. It's quite beautiful. Lovely. And as you can see here, I think, um, maybe only in close up, um, you get the almost pure pigment quality of the ultramarine blue. Okay, a little bit closer up, and um, you can see this lovely sort of matte, matte quality of the ultramarine blue, and really picking out the light, and uh, quite luminescent, beautiful. This is a painting called Angela, and this is where I've used the mixture of ultramarine blue and Indian throne um, over an orangey red ground, a sort of stained piece of paper. Um, and on this you can see quite beautifully in the drips at the bottom of the painting, here's a close up here, um, where the Indian throne has moved to the sides of the drip and you have the ultramarine blue that stays more centrally and it creates something that looks like a, a shadow, although it's very flat surface. It it almost looks like it's a three-dimensional drip when actually it's completely flat.